Thrown or something? Look, I better get you into town. Mm. Right, now, don't, now, don't move. You just lie still. I'll bring my horse over closer. class by talking online. So finally I said to him, all right, Ollie, stand up. Morning, Mother. Good morning. Good morning. I gather you're talking about Ollie Jameson. Who else? <laughs> From what I gather, I hear he could give a honey bear lessons in mischief. Yes, he could. Anyway, I warned him about talking at least a half a dozen times. And finally I said, Ollie, suppose you'd had to take Mrs. Devon's place. Suppose you were the substitute teacher. What would you do? You know what he said? He said, I'd send me home. <laughs> Jared, that's supposed to be funny. Hmm? Oh, never mind, darling. This is one of Jared's I've got so much on my mind mornings. Well, as a matter of fact, I do. Meaning Jeff Bowden. Jared, that's over. You should forget it. It's not easy to forget the deputy taking him off to prison last night. I'll try and keep him there the rest of his life. But he killed a man. He could have been hanged. With any other attorney, he would have been. I think you did very well by him, Jared. <laughs> the operation was successful, but the patient died. Oh. Jared, there was an eyewitness. I don't believe that eyewitness. I think he was carried away like everybody else. Good morning. Uh-oh. It's just a very long card game. I'll just have coffee. Thank you. <coughs> Those quit claim papers have to be signed today? Uh-huh. I have to record them in the morning. Come in early, will you, Nick? I want to get started with the Bowden appeal. Are you still harping on that? He's still on that. He's still blaming himself? Well, it's all pretty cut and dried to me. Bowden was tried by judge and jury, the whole pot of beans. Could I have some more coffee, please? It was, it was trial by hysteria, Nick. Nobody in this town could forget that the man who was murdered was a priest. Pure emotional bias, and I should have been able to cut through it. You ready, Audra? Ready. So you're going to throw the whole trial right out the window, huh? You're the one that always says, put your trust in the law. Bowden put his trust in me, Nick. Jared? What? Nothing.
You know something? I think that Ollie Jameson is a pretty lucky kid. Oh? Why? Well, he has about the sweetest and the prettiest teacher in all of California. Thank you. You know, when I was a kid, we once took a vote on who the prettiest teacher was. And you know who won? Who? Nobody. <laughs> I don't believe that. Well, you should. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty lucky, too. Why is that? Because I have a brother like you. Well, now, what brought that up? Oh, the way you fought for Jeff Bowden, the way you're still fighting. What's this? I thought you were on the other side. I can't believe that he's innocent, Jared. But it makes me proud that you care, that you're so worried. Angry might be a better word, Audra. What I consider a monumental mistake. But Mr. Becker saw him run from the church. Mr. Becker thought he saw him run because he wanted to see him run. Why? Maybe to make himself more important. Who knows? Enough to send a man to prison? It wouldn't be the first time it's happened. Get up. Boo. Here you are, Audra, and I hope you have a nice day with Ollie James. Aren't you going to your office? Just as soon as I finish here. I'll pick you up after school. All right. Come in. Oh, Mrs. Bailey. Oh, Mrs. Bowden will sure be pleased to see you. How is she? Well, she ain't been too happy. I mean, being left alone like this and the baby more than a week late already. Yes, ma'am. Oh, well, it I... don't mean nothing being late. I brung lots of them to the world like that. Except it's her first and she's naturally scared. Oh, you remember my first, my little John? Well, he's a big boy now. Yes, Mrs. And Haley, after may I gave I see birth her to now, him. Please. Oh, <laughs> you want to see Mrs. Bowden? Here I go, chatting away about myself again. Mrs. Bowden, you got yourself some company. Good morning. Oh, is there something new? Not yet, I'm afraid. Don't you worry, that appeal will be granted. I just stopped by to see if there's something you might need. No, I'll be all right. I'm sure you will. Especially when you have that boy. I think it's going to be a boy. Well, it has to be a boy. Jeff can't hunt and fish with a girl, can he? You know, it's it's funny, Mr. Barkley. Jeff never went to school. He can't read. And here I am trying to write him a letter. It, it sounds like it was a stranger. I can't seem to write what I feel in the letter. And what's worse, somebody in the prison will have to read it to him. What will it sound like then? I'm sure he'll understand. I want to thank you, Mr. Barkley. I didn't get a chance to after the trial. There's so much confusion. You don't have to thank me. Not yet, anyway. You tried. You tried your best. And we're grateful. We're grateful you even took the case. Why wouldn't I take the case? Well, Jeff was only a handyman. There's no money to pay a lawyer like you. I believe that your husband is innocent. If I can prove that, that's payment enough, believe me. If it's a boy, would you like to be godfather? Mrs. Bowden, I would be honored. <laughs> well, I better get on to the office. I'll try and look in again tomorrow. But please, don't get up. Oh, oh, it will do me good. You get tired of sitting and waiting. I'm looking for Jeff. Is he here? What happened? He got away from the marshal, and this morning up on the north road, he jumped Walt Tenner, grabbed his horse and gun. Now, Walt followed his tracks for a ways. He said they headed straight for town. 
Sorry, Mrs. Bowden. We'll have to search the house. Alec. Marty. Yes, sir. This make it worse for Jeff. It may. I only hope they can pick him up before he does something more foolish. Jared, I uh, may have to deputize you. No, thanks, Fred. Oh, wait a minute. You're his lawyer. He might listen to you. Not if I'm wearing a badge and hunting him down with the rest of you. Suit yourself. Not a sign of him, Fred. Nothing. I had to check, Mrs. Bowden. Mrs. Haley, if Jeff does come here, you let me know right away, understand? Now, the most important thing is that you keep him here, talk to him, make him understand that he's only hurting himself. And we've got to stop him from making things worse. Mr. Barkley, help him. I will if he gives me the chance. Uh. You all right? Uh. Oh. Well, then, about time. Come along now. Let's get you to bed. Easy now. Easy. Easy. That's right. Just a minute. Oh. All right, let's sit down. That's a good one. Take it slow. Oh. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll put some water on the boy. <laughs> Wait. Have you seen the sheriff? They said he was here. He was. He just left. Jack Bowden's back. The sheriff's got to give me protection. I'm sure he will, if you need it. Look, Mr. Barkley. I stood up there in court. I did my duty. I testified against Bowden. Now, don't you say to me if I need it. I could have told you he'd come back. He gets a chance at me. I'm like that priest. I'm dead. We don't know that he came back for you, Sam. I know. You, you were there yourself. You heard what he said when they were taking him away. I ain't forgetting you, druggist. I'm going to pay you off. It takes 500 years. I'm going to pay you off. Anybody might have said that, Sam. He thought you lied on the stand. Why? What for? Why would I want to hurt him like that? You ask him. All the time his wife's been expecting. You ask him how much he paid for her pills, half price, because he couldn't afford no more. Ain't nothing to him. He's going to kill me if he gets a chance. Now, look, Sam, we don't even know he's here. If he is, this town isn't that big. We'll find him. Before he finishes me? Before he finishes himself, I hope. <laughs> run around this morning on account of this new jacket I got from Pa. It's very handsome. Are you feeling better? Huh? Well, you were out all week. I thought you were sick. Oh, no, ma'am. I've been running the store. I don't mean rolling pills and such. Just watching while Pa was in court. I see. Pa wouldn't just leave the drugstore like that. Only they said he had to go. He had to stand up in court and tell what he saw. Of course. But looks like he won't have to go no more. They took Jeff Bowden away last night, and Pa says he ain't never gonna come back. Stevie, why don't you take your beautiful new jacket and hang it up before it gets dirty? Yes, Miss Barkley. Ollie, would you close the front door, please? Yes, ma'am. Sheriff! Sheriff! Fred, hurry up! You're losing! 
Jeff Bowden. He just tried to shoot me. You sure it was Bowden? O over my place. He just missed me that much. All right, Marty, Alec, you both check the alley, check every store, every house, everything. Come on, let's go. Hodges, Lavery, take Newbury Street, both sides. You two take Pierce Avenue, and the rest of you take the river. Fred. Yeah? You got another batch? Change your mind? Maybe you were right. He might listen to me. Good. We'll check Lawton Street. Whoa. Well, how long do you reckon you're gonna be? Oh, not long. Uh-huh. Any time a woman tells me she's not going to be long, she's going shopping, it's three to one. I'll be back before she's through. <laughs> now, I best get over there and get those papers signed. So you wait here, I'll be right back. Oh, no, I'll walk to the boat. It's not far. Uh, not with all those packages, you don't. I'll be right back. All right. Thank you. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning, Arthur. What can I do for you? Oh, I'd like to see some baby things. For a friend. <laughs> you betcha. Any idea what she needs? My guess would be just about everything. Well, fine. Let's start with the blankets. Helen, good morning. I shouldn't be too long, Arthur. I just have to get some things for supper. Nice to see you, Victoria. There we are. All blue? What's well, the only color I carry? Everybody hopes for a boy. Well, not this time. I'm hoping Mrs. Bowden has a girl. Mrs. Bowden? Girls are much easier to raise alone. Is that who you're buying for, Jeff Bowden's wife? Shouldn't I be? Well, it's your money. You do what you like. Seems to me, though, when it comes to trash like the Bowdens... You're that sure that they are trash? Well, what else? A lazy lout like that? Been around here six, seven years now and still ain't took no steady work, still satisfied doing odd jobs around town? Maybe he couldn't get anything else. Well, that ain't true, Victoria, and I'm the one who can tell you. Three years back, I offered him a job myself. I said, pay won't mean much to begin with, but you can be like me. Start small and build big. And how did you get started, Arthur? Working for old man Tucker, and I mean working, too. Putting in seven days a week, 14 hours a day, working till my back was broke. And marrying his daughter. That wasn't called for, Victoria. I've learned one thing in this valley. There's room for all kinds, men like you and Jeff Bowden. And no man has the right to call another trash. Look, Bowden's a killer. He killed a priest. Jared thinks he's innocent. He's going to appeal. Well, let him. It'll take more than a lawyer. It'll take an act of God. If you don't mind, Arthur, I'd like to finish my shopping. Now, would you show me some other things? Stevie, I'm afraid your absence has put you behind the class. I got it wrong? Mm hmm A lot? Well, a lot or a little doesn't matter. In arithmetic, you have to be perfect. Yes, ma'am. Shall we add it up together? Five and four. Nine. And three. Twelve. And seven? Eighteen. And nineteen. Sometimes second guesses are better. Sorry, Miss Barkley, we had to look in. We're out to Jeff Bowden. Jeff Bowden, you're in Stockton, are you sure? No question about it, ma'am. He took a shot at the baker and ran down the alley. Well, he didn't run in here. The only criminal we have is Ollie Jamison. He talks too much. <laughs> That's all right. He's got to be around. We'll pick him up. Sorry to bother you, man. Now, shall we go on? Stevie, there's no reason to be frightened. But he came back to kill Pa. Now, that's a silly idea. On account of Pa talked against him in court. 
He isn't going to hurt your father. He isn't going to hurt anyone. Don't worry, they'll find him. Stevie, would it make you feel better if I let you go be with your father? Yes, ma'am, please. All right, go ahead. And don't worry about your lessons. I'll bring them over to you. Well, now, who would like to finish the blackboard exercises? Ollie? No, ma'am. I just wanted to tell you, Stevie forgot to take his jacket. Oh, well, maybe you can catch up with him and give it to him. so far. You take the rest of the street alone if you don't mind. I think I better get back in case some of the others get lucky. All right, Sheriff. Jared, you knew him better than anyone. You any idea who might be hiding him out? No, Sheriff, I haven't. All right. You better sit down. Who won't sit down? Now look, I, I don't mean you, I don't mean any of you, no harm. Not so long as you're all quiet, you understand? Just be quiet. You're not thinking of hiding here, are you? You got someplace better? Now, look, it wasn't my notion to hold up in here, but I didn't have no time to pick and choose, you understand? Or to think about the children if there's any shooting. Look, Mr. Bowden, people are always coming to the school. Parents, trustees. Almost any place would be better for you to hide than here. Like out on the street, maybe, so the town could hold a parade for me. Look, they'll, they'll get tired of looking for me, I'll... I'll clear out of here in a little while. Please, just let the children go. I can't. Now, I can't take that chance. Children, I think we'll skip history today. Why don't we draw? Let's get out our slates. We draw, Miss Audra. Anything, Ollie. Anything you want. There might not be no trouble. They ain't found me yet. school. Barbie said I should be with you. With me? Well, sure, on account of Jeff Bowden. Unless you ain't heard. I heard. Pa, you got any notion why he came back? I... I wouldn't hardly know. A man like that, it ain't easy to say. Do you think he... Maybe he came back after you. Supposing he did. Shows his face around here, he's gonna find he's tangling with the buzz saw. Well, you have the store closed. Oh, that, well, I, that's the sheriff's orders. He's set on taking Bowden alive. 
here. Let's let's call this a little pay on account. Pay for what? There's a couple of cases in the back room. As long as you're here, you might as well get them unpacked. Sure, Pop. Hi, that's my new jacket in store. Stevie. Steve, wait a minute. Mr. Bowden, may I talk to you? It's almost time for the children's recess. People are used to seeing the children outside. Someone's bound to wonder. There's nothing they can do with the kids in here. Boy. I ask you something. What you got there? What do you got? Fix me up just fine. One fact, yes. Sam Becker. Not hard to figure, is it? Well, I guess you'll be going after Bowden first, right? I got half the town out looking for him now. Oh, well, if you need me, I'll be at Jared's office. Save yourself the trip. Look over on North Street. Jared's out looking for him, too. I deputized him. kill Sam Becker? I hope not, Nick. Now, don't put yourself out on the end of a limb, Jared. You kept him from being hung. What more can you do? Maybe just keep him from hanging himself. I got to report back to Fred. I just best go along. <laughs> Oh, 
Now, you knew he'd go yelling to his paw. Yes. And you give him a hand. Didn't matter who, what happened to me. Why? Why, did I hurt you any? Did I try to do you some harm? Look, you got me tied up here like a, like a goose, ready for market. Mr. Bowden, I'm Audra Barkley, Jared's sister. I know that. Why don't you let me send for him? He'd help you. I know he would. Wouldn't do no good. No more than before. Don't you know this town's got a, got a taste for blood? They're going to come after you. They'll have guns. Let the children leave. I'll stay. I can't. I told you I can't. Them kids is all the cover I got. Don't call on us, mister. We won't help you one bit. Ollie! You broke the commandment. My pa says you're gonna roast it. in hell. Stop it. You don't know I know it. Ollie, I heard my pa say. You killed a priest and you're gonna hang. Ollie, stop it, please. Maybe. Maybe, boy. But not yet. Not for a while. Pick him up? No, but I got a dozen men out looking for him. That's not enough. You need more. Every man you can get. You want to set this whole town in a panic? We pin him down with a bunch of nervous guns. We're going to force him into doing something that maybe we could prevent. He kill a mad dog in the street. He killed that priest. That's one man's testimony. Are you calling me a liar? You're saying I don't know what I saw. All I'm saying is that you could be wrong. You listen to me, Mr. Jared Barkley. What is it, boy? Get Bowden in the school! Get Bowden in the school! Round up the others fast. What are you talking about over there? What you two talking? Now you sit down. Go on, sit down. Something out there? What is it? What do you see? I ask you what you see. that alley back there. Tell them to stay put till they get the word. Stay put? What for? You got him hold up. He's not the only one in there, Becker. Where's Mother? She's over at Cleaver's getting some baby clothes for the Bowdens. You'd better get back there and take her over to Bowdens yourself. Oh, no, wait a minute. You want her to hear about him being in there with Audra? What good would it do? How soon are you going in, Sheriff? Not sure, Nick. It's going to take some figuring. I'll be back. Well, you are on time. Uh huh. Well, it's a good thing I got the buggy outside. Next stop, Bowden. That's right. All right. Thank you. Uh, I, uh, I was just thinking. Uh, well, maybe I should buy the kids something too. Uh, uh, come on, you can help me pick out the That's sizes. That's silly. I bought him everything he could possibly use. I think I'd always use more, Mother. You know, there's cottons for the summer, flannels for the winter. Uh, you know how those kids grow. Come on, come on, now. Let me play Santa Claus, too. Victoria! Uh, uh, Victoria, have you heard? Jeff Bowden's escaped. They've trapped him in the schoolhouse. Our Henny's there. And your Audra, too. Arthur, get your coat. Hurry! How dared you? How dared you keep this from me? Well, Jared and I both Next thought that... Next time, let me do my own thinking. You're just gonna stand around thinking? You want Bowden so bad? Bring him out yourself. I'm no hand with a gun. You're real fast with ours. Sam, you can hardly blame him. Your son's out here, his kid's in that school, along with a lot of others. I don't owe him nothing, none of them. 
You liked it fine when I told what I knew, when I stood in the court and testified knowing that Bowden would hold a grudge. Well, I've done enough of this town. I ain't doing no more. He's a killer. I ain't setting myself up for him. Now, he's there. You've got to get him out. Somebody. Some way. Fred, I think I can get him to come out. No, Jared. He's trapped. And he could be dangerous. Besides, it's not your job. It was my job to keep him from being where he is. Pa, you said... Not now. I'm going in, Fred. We know you're in there. I want to talk to you. Get up. Get up. Get up. Now, don't do anything foolish, Jeff. I only want to help. I'm not armed, Jeff. I'm coming in. Oh, now, you hold it right there. Shut that door. You put your gun up, Jeff. What do you want? To help you if I can. You tried that once, lawyer. Don't be a fool, Jeff. You're throwing away the only chance you have. Can't you see that you're throwing away your life for Becker's? Becker? I'll get this straight. If you kill Becker, a dozen lawyers won't be able to help you. You'll hang. Oh, now, you got it all wrong. That's not it at all. No, you're the one that's mixed up. You know why I come back here? I come back here to see my kid. That's right, see my kid. I've been waiting 12 years. Since the day we was married, 12 years, my wife's been hoping and, and praying for a youngin' to hold in her arms so we wouldn't be alone in this world. So it would matter to somebody what happened to us. Now, Miss Haley, she said the baby would be born any minute. And I begged that sheriff to let me wait so I could see my kid, maybe touch him. But he said, no, it was out of his hands. Couldn't wait. The law was the law. Well, what kind of a law is it that puts a man in jail that ain't done nothing, then won't let him see his own kid? I'm sorry, Jeff. I wish you'd spoken to me about it. Nothing you could do. Well, there may be something I can do now. What? If I help you get over to your place so you can see your child. Will you give me your word you'll surrender afterwards? How are you going to do that? There's law out front and back. Your word, Jeff. But you got it. All right, now you've got to do exactly as I say. Audrey, you get over here. The back way is our only chance. Awful quiet. Think we should go and see? Not yet. Give Jared a chance. Marty, Alec, come on in. It's all over. Both of you, put your hands up. Where's Jared? He's in the school. Been in there quite a while. Nick! Victoria, please, stay no. here. Don't go. You're in the closet. Who's in the closet? The sheriff's been. Where's Jared? 
Bowden put a gun on our backs. With your brother helping. Will somebody tell me what's going on around here? Where'd they go? They went to Bowden's house. Nick, he just wanted to see the baby. Jeff, come on. Oh, Mr. Bowden. Just in time. She kept asking for you through the whole thing. And once they get started, ain't nothing can stop them. You got a boy. Boy. A boy. My wife? Oh, she's fine. A little weak, of course. Well, you can go in. so small. It don't come full size. Strong. Just feel how he holds on. He's gonna have strong hands, just like his paw. He's going to be big enough someday to hold on to an axe or gun. Pa's going to show him how. Sure of that. Jeff. I'm sorry, Jeff. It's time. You've got to take me back? You know I do. Why, you, you know I'm innocent. Not under the law. Look, why don't you, uh, why don't you tell them I held a gun on you? Knocked you out, got away. My wife will back you up. Now, you kept saying about justice. Now, wouldn't that be justice, helping a man that's innocent? Not letting him pay for something he never done? I can't. Look, what you want me to do? Right up there in that jail and not ever see my wife from a kid no more? I want you to give yourself a chance. Give me a chance. Wouldn't do no good no more than before. Look, I know you tried. And I'm thankful to you for it. But you said they wouldn't hold me guilty. They didn't have no case. Well, mister, they didn't want no case. They just wanted to pay somebody off for that priest. Now, I had my fill of the law, Mr. Barkley. I ain't gonna take no more. I'm pulling out, and I'm going with your helping me, or without. Now, what's it going to be? Without. All right, then. Just don't you stand in my way. Jeff! Oh, no, Jeff! Listen to me. You've got a lot to live for now, a lot. Jeff, you've got a son. 
Now, you can't just think of yourself now. You've got a wife and a family, Jeff, a boy. They need you. Now, come on, Jeff. Give me the gun. You won't be any good to them dead. Come on, I can explain it to the sheriff. Your friend, the sheriff. You had him waiting for me. Jeff, that's not true. You've got to believe me. No more. You did the best you could, Jared. We'd best be going on home. It's all over now. It's not over, Nick. Not yet. He was trying to get away. The same way he was trying to get away from Father Paul. The truth only matters to me now, Mrs. Bowden. He was like to go out of his mind. A baby coming. And us strapped for money. And Jeff wanted so much for Hearing about that money in the church and swearing he was going to get it. He wouldn't listen to me no more than you. Said the church didn't need the money. Grabbed the gun and run out. He wasn't bad. Just desperate was all. That's the way it is, I guess. It don't matter if you're good on the inside. You do something bad, you gotta pay. That's the law. Is right.
It's almost time for the children's recess. People are used to seeing the children outside. Someone's bound to wonder. There's nothing they can do with the kids in here. Boy. I asked you something. What you got there? What do you got? Even the kids. Oh, you fix me up good. You fix me up just fine. Fact, yes. Sam Becker. Not hard to figure, is it? Well, I guess you'll be going after Bowden first, right? I got half the town out looking for him now. Oh, well, if you need me, I'll be at Jared's office. Save yourself the trip. Look over on North Street. Jared's out looking for him, too. I deputized him. you feel better if I let you go be with your father? Yes, ma'am, please. All right, go ahead. And don't worry about your lessons. I'll bring them over to you. Well, now, who would like to finish the blackboard exercise? Ollie? No, ma'am. I just wanted to tell you Stevie forgot to take his jacket. Oh, well, maybe you can catch up with him and give it to him. so far. You take the rest of the street alone if you don't mind. I think I better get back in case some of the others get lucky. All right, Sheriff. Jared, you knew him better than anyone. You any idea who might be hiding him out? No, Sheriff, I haven't. All right. You better sit down. Who won't sit down? Now look, I, I don't mean you. I don't mean any of you, no harm. Not so long as you're all quiet. You understand? Just be quiet. You're not thinking of hiding here, are you? You got someplace better? Now look, it wasn't my notion to hold up in here, but I didn't have no time to pick and choose, you understand? Or to think about the children if there's any shooting.
Look, Mr. Bowden, people are always coming to the school. Parents, trustees. Almost any place would be better for you to hide than here. Like out on the street, maybe, so the town could hold a parade for me. Look, they'll, they'll get tired of looking for me. I'll, I'll clear out of here in a little while. Please, just let the children go. I can't. Now, I can't take that chance. Children, I think we'll skip history today. Why don't we draw? Let's get out our slates. What do we draw, Miss Audra? Well, as long as you're here, you might as well get them unpacked. Sure, Pa. Hi, that's my new jacket in school. Stevie. Steve, wait a minute. Mr. Bowden, may I talk to you? It's almost time for the children's recess. People are used to seeing the children outside. Someone's bound to wonder. There's nothing they can do with the kids in here. you something. What you got there? What do you got? Even the kids. Fix me up just fine. <laughs> Never figured you'd be so small. They don't come full size. Strong. Feel how he holds on. He's gonna have strong hands, just like his pa. That's right, boy. You you hang on. Don't you never let go. Don't you never let go of me. And I ain't never gonna let go of you. Them fingers gonna be big enough someday to hold on to an axe or gun. His pa's gonna show him how. You sure of that? Jeff. I'm 
sorry, Jeff. It's time. You got to take me back? You know I do. Why, you, you know I'm innocent. Not under the law. Look, why don't you, uh, why don't you tell them I held a gun on you? Knocked you out, got away. My wife will back you up. Now, you kept saying about justice. Now, wouldn't that be justice, helping a man that's innocent? Not letting him pay for something he never done? I can't. Look, what you want me to do? Right up there in that jail, not ever see my wife from a kid no more? I want you to give yourself a chance. Give me a chance. Wouldn't do no good no more than before. Look, I know you tried. And I'm thankful to you for it. But you said they wouldn't hold me guilty. They didn't have no case. Well, mister, they didn't want no case. They just wanted to pay somebody off for that priest. And I had my fill of the law, Mr. Barkley. I ain't gonna take no more. I'm pulling out. And I'm going with your helping me or without. Now, what's it gonna be? Without. Just don't you stand in my way. Jeff! Oh, no, Jeff! You're sick. Oh, no, ma'am. I've been running the store. I don't mean rolling pills and such. Just watching while Paul was in court. I see. Paul wouldn't just leave the drugstore like that. Only they said he had to go. He had to stand up in court and tell what he saw. Of course. But looks like he won't have to go no more. They took Jeff Bowden away last night, and Pa says he ain't never gonna come back. Stevie, why don't you take your beautiful new jacket and hang it up before it gets dirty? Yes, Miss Barkley. Ollie, would you close the front door, please? Yes, ma'am. Sure it was Bowden? O over my place. He just missed me that much. All right, Marty, Alec, you both check the alley, check every store, every house, everything. Come on, let's go. Hodges, Lavery, take Newbury Street, both sides. You two take Pierce Avenue, and the rest of you take the river. Fred. Yeah? You got another batch? Change your mind? Maybe you were right. He might listen to me. Good. We'll check Lawton Street. <laughs> you reckon you're going to be? Oh, not long. Uh-huh. Any time a woman tells me she's not going to be long, she's going shopping, it's three to one. I'll be back before she's through. <laughs> now, I best get over there and get those papers signed. So you wait here, I'll be right back. Oh, no, I'll walk to the boat. It's not fun. Uh, not with all those packages you don't. I'll be right back. All right. Thank you. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning, Arthur. What can I do for you? Oh, I'd like to see some baby things. For a friend. <laughs> you betcha. Any idea what she needs? My guess would be just about everything. Well, fine. Let's start with the blankets. Helen, good morning. I shouldn't be too long, Arthur. I just have... School. Barbie said I should be with you. With me? Well, sure, on account of Jeff Bowden. Unless you ain't heard. I heard. Pa? 
You got any notion why he came back? I... I wouldn't hardly know. A man like that, it ain't easy to say. Do you think he maybe came back after you? Supposing he did. He shows his face around here, he's gonna find he's tangling with the buzzsaw. But you have the store closed. Oh, that, well, I... That's the sheriff's orders. He's set on taking Bowden alive. <laughs> Here, let's, let's call this a little pay on account. Pay for what? There's a couple of cases in the back room. As long as you're here, you might as well get them unpacked. Sure, Pa. Pa, that's my new jacket in store. Stevie. Steve, wait a minute. Mr. Bowden, may I talk to you? It's almost time for the children's recess. People are used to seeing the children outside. Someone's bound to wonder. There's nothing they can do with the kids in here. you something. What you got there? What do you got? or something? Look, I better get you into town. Mm. Right? No, don't, no, don't move. You just lie still. I'll bring my horse over closer.
really like it, but he'd been disturbing the class by talking all morning. So finally I said to him, all right, Ollie, stand up. Morning, Mother. Good morning. Good morning. I gather you're talking about Ollie Jameson. Who else? <laughs> From what I gather, I hear he could give a honey bear lessons in mischief. Yes, he could. Anyway, I warned him about it. ...against Bode now. Don't you say to me if I need it. I could have told you he'd come back. If he gets a chance at me, I'm like that priest. I'm dead. We don't know that he came back for you, Sam. I know. You, you were there yourself. You heard what he said when they were taking him away. I ain't forgetting you, druggist. I'm going to pay you off. It takes 500 years. I'm going to pay you off. Anybody might have said that, Sam. He thought you lied on the stand. Why? What for? Why would I want to hurt him like that? You ask him. All the time his wife's been expecting. You ask him how much he paid for her pills. Half price, because he couldn't afford no more. Ain't nothing to him. He's gonna kill me if he gets a chance. Now look, Sam, we don't even know he's here. If he is, this town isn't that big. We'll find him. Before he finishes me? Before he finishes himself, I hope. <laughs> Except they can't run around this morning. On account of this new jacket I got from Pa. It's very handsome. Are you feeling better? Huh? Well, you were out all week. I thought you were sick. Oh, no, ma'am. I've been running the store. I don't mean rolling pills and such. Just watching while Pa was in court. I see. Pa wouldn't just leave the drugstore like that. Only they said he had to go. He had to stand up in court and tell what he saw. Of course. But looks like he won't have to go no more. They took Jeff Bowden away last night, and Pa says he ain't never gonna come back. Stevie, why don't you take your beautiful new jacket and hang it up before it gets dirty? Yes, Miss Barkley. Ollie, would you close the front door, please? Yes, ma'am. We know you're in there. I want to talk to you. Get up. Get up. Get up. That's it. Now, don't do anything foolish, Jeff. I only want to help. I'm not armed, Jeff. I'm coming in. Oh, now, you hold it right there. Shut that door. Look what you got up, Jeff. What do you want? To help you if I can. You tried that once, lawyer. Don't be a fool, Jeff. You're throwing away the only chance you have. Can't you see that you're throwing away your life for Becker's? Becker? I'll get this straight. If you kill Becker, a dozen lawyers won't be able to help you. You'll hang. Now, you got it all wrong. That's not it at all. No, you're the one that's mixed up. You know why I come back here? I come back here to see my kid. That's right, see my kid. I've been waiting 12 years. 
Since the day we was married, 12 years, my wife's been hoping and, and praying for a young'un to hold in her arms so we wouldn't be alone in this world. So it would matter to somebody what happened to us. Miss Haley, she said the baby would be born any minute. And I begged that sheriff to let me wait so I could see my kid, maybe touch him. But he said, no, it was out of his hands. Couldn't wait. The law was the law. Well, what kind of a law is it that puts a man in jail that ain't done nothing, then won't let him see his own kid? I'm sorry, Jeff. I wish you'd spoken to me about it. Nothing you could do. Well, there may be something I can do now. What? If I help you get over to your place so you can see your child. Will you give me your word you'll surrender afterwards? How are you going to do that? There's law out front and back. Your word, Jeff. I want to thank you, Mr. Barkley. I didn't get a chance to after the trial. There's so much confusion. You don't have to thank me. Not yet, anyway. You tried. You tried your best. And we're grateful. We're grateful you even took the case. Why wouldn't I take the case? Well, Jeff was only a handyman. There's no money to pay a lawyer like you. I believe that your husband is innocent. If I can prove that, that's payment enough, believe me. It's a boy. Would you like to be godfather? Mrs. Bowden, I would be honored. <laughs> well, I better get on to the office. I'll try and look in again tomorrow. But please don't get up. Oh, oh, it will do me good. You get tired of sitting and waiting. I'm looking for Jeff. Is he here? What happened? He got away from the marshal, and this morning up on the north road, he jumped Walt Tenner, grabbed his horse and gun. Now, Walt followed his tracks for a ways. He said they headed straight for town. Sorry, Mrs. Bowden, we'll have to search the house. Alec. Marty? Yes, sir. Let's make it worse for Jeff. It may. I only hope they can pick him up before he does something more foolish. Jared, I uh, may have to deputize you. No thanks, Fred. Well, oh, wait a minute. You're his lawyer. He might listen to you. Not if I'm wearing a badge and hunting him down with the rest of you. Suit yourself. Not a sign of him, Fred. Nothing. I had to check, Mrs. Bowden. Mrs. Haley, if Jeff does come here, you let me know right away, understand? Now, the most important thing is that you keep him here, talk to him, make him understand that he's only hurting himself. And we've got to stop him from making things worse. Mr. Barkley, help him. I will if he gives me the chance. Ah. You all right? Ah. Oh. Well, then, about time. Come along now. Let's get you to bed. Easy now. Easy, easy. That's right. Just a minute. Oh. All right, sit down. No matter who, what happened to me? Why? Why, did I hurt you any? Did I try to do you some harm? Look, you got me tied up here like a, like a goose, ready for market. Mr. Bowden, I'm Audra Barkley, Jared's sister. I know that. Why don't you let me send for him? He'd help you. I know he would. Wouldn't do no good. No more than before. Don't you know this town's got a, got a taste for blood? They're gonna come after you. They'll have guns. Let the children leave. I'll stay. I can't. I told you I can't. Them kids is all the cover I got. Don't call on us, mister. 
We won't help you one bit. Oh, you broke the commandment. My pa says oh, you're gonna roast it. in hell. Stop it! You don't know. What I know saying. it. Oh, I please, heard my pa say you killed a priest and you're gonna hang. Oh, stop it, please. Maybe, maybe, boy, but not yet. Not for a while. Pick him up? No, but I got a dozen men out looking for him. That's not enough. You need more. Every man you can get. You want to set this whole town in a panic? We pin him down with a bunch of nervous guns. We're going to force him into doing something that maybe we could prevent. You kill a mad dog in the street. He killed that priest. That's one man's testimony. Are you calling me a liar? You saying I don't know what I saw? All I'm saying is that you could be wrong. You listen to me, Mr. Jared Barkley. What is it, boy? Your son! What? He's in the school! Your phone's in the school! Round up the others fast. What are you talking about over there? What you two talking? Now you sit down. Go on, sit down. Something out there? What is it? What do you see? I ask you what you see. What do you got? Even the kids. Fix me up just fine. Fat guess? Sam Becker. Not hard to figure, is it? Well, I guess you'll be going after Bowden first, right? I got half the town out looking for him now. Oh, well, if you need me, I'll be at Jared's office. Save yourself the trip. Look over on North Street. Jared's out looking for him, too. I deputized him. back here to kill Sam Becker? I hope not, Nick. Now, don't put yourself out on the end of a limb, Jared. You kept him from being hung. What more can you do? Maybe just keep him from hanging himself. 
I got to report back to Fred. I just best go along. Thank you. 